So the advent of the atomic bomb is a course that is offered through the core curriculum at Colgate. And the focus of it is its title, basically. We, we cover the history and the science and the politics of the story behind the construction of the first atomic bombs that were used against Japan in 1945. So in the process of offering this course this past spring um, with an online component as a, as a new experiment at Colgate, we designed a particularly new experiment, uh, which we call the Twitter play. We took the last five weeks of the semester, and we divided it up so that it represented the historical period from Pearl Harbor to the surrender of the Japanese in 1945, so a four-year period. Each student in the class was assigned an important character from the atomic bomb story in that, who was active in that window. So we had scientists and military people and um, government representatives. Each student had to do research on their character's actions from 1941 to 1945. What were they doing on what days? And then they scheduled these to be posted on Twitter at the appropriate time that represented when it took place in that five week, our five week period during the semester. So it kind of unfolded like a play of events. Each student, in the form of their character, had to respond to the events as they unfolded over the course of the play. Um, keeping in mind what their character might have said, they had to do a lot of imagining, a lot of creat creative work. It was a, an act of historical fiction. So we effectively reenacted many different aspects of the story behind the bomb from 1941 to 1945, one character at a time, all interacting together. I am playing Henry Stimson, who was the Secretary of War throughout World War II. It was a really interesting role to play. I actually didn't know who he was when I was assigned the role. I thought I had a really insignificant scientist and was very surprised to find out who he was. You know, it being a science class, I expected it to be more just the science, and I think that it was really interesting for me to both learn that in class, but also be able to have this other side of the story, which is equally important and really is necessary in order to understand the history of why we dropped the atomic bomb. It was, it was a tremendous amount of fun, and actually I ended up learning a lot more than I ever thought I would. Uh, you know, Karen asked if we, some of us alumni, would participate as taking on some of these characters. So I, I decided to take on uh, Franklin Roosevelt because I've always kind of been involved uh, and interested in politics. So I, I took that on, figuring, you know, I'd just kind of be responding here and there in somewhat of a presidential voice and found myself actually doing a fair amount of research with almost every post that I did because I wanted to make sure I got it historically accurate. Students started to really identify with their characters. They kept researching them and their histories well beyond what I expected them to do. And they would invoke their characters during class spontaneously, or they referenced them in some of the online discussions we were having. And so they became kind of parts of the class, these, these characters from the atomic bomb story, like Henry Stimson and, and Robert Oppenheimer and Leslie Groves and all these other really important figures. Because it's a public forum, the students took it very seriously, knowing they had an audience. And they did a really exceptional job paying attention to detail and, and really living up to what was expected of them and much beyond. Uh, I played Dr. Robert Oppenheimer in the Twitter project uh, and as far as my experience with the Twitter project I think having to do the 25 initial posts which is what we did in the first place to sort of get to know our character was, was a really great experience for us and especially for me personally uh, because I really feel like I got to know my character and sort of get this base for who he was, what he liked to do, you know, uh, what his personality was and this sort of gave me an idea for how I was going to have him interact with other characters uh, during, during the course of the project. In addition to doing those 25 initial posts, why I sort of kept doing the posts and, and, and participated a lot in the project was because uh, having it be on a social media platform like Twitter was really fun and engaging. So I got to put these hashtags on my, on my tweets that had to do with Mean Girls or you know, uh, something that is, is a modern present day thing that you know, he wouldn't have had anything to do with Dr. Robert Oppenheimer. But uh, it was really fun and I got to sort of put my own personality on the character. Uh, and I think it really helped me engage with the time period and, and with the character and with the scientist and um, helped me learn about a lot about the time period and it was, it was a really impactful learning experience overall. I don't think I would have been as involved as I became through the Twitter project. I mean, Karen's been an amazing professor and I've learned so much through the class, but having constantly getting tweets about it was just 
such a good way to make sure that I was staying on top of my information. I was looking things up throughout the project, not just at the beginning. And I just thought that I learned so much through this constant um, research that I probably wouldn't have learned through a different medium. I think one of the reasons that this worked so well is because Twitter is such a mobile platform. You can check it quickly anywhere. You can be walking down the hill and, and check that Curtis LeMay has talked to you about bombing Japan, for instance. And you can respond. And so it, it took the story out of the classroom and expanded it so that it actually uh, kind of infused our lives, the students and mine, for this five-week period. And so I've, I really have never seen a level of engagement with the content like I saw because of this Twitter project. So we were really happy with how it went.